Hi, welcome to another video. Before starting the video, I want to thank you all for 10k subscribers. I don't have enough words to express my gratitude to you guys. Thanks a lot again. Anyway, let's go back to the video. Recently, the Quen 2 models were released. And when I say Quen 2, I mean multiple models that range from a 0.5 billion parameter model and a 7 billion parameter model to a 72 billion parameter model. I have done a video on it, and I asked you guys in that video if I should make a video on a co-pilot with Quen. And some of you who made it till the end of the video said, yes. So, here I am, where I'll be making a co-pilot with a new model for the 100th time. I am surely not exhausted by it. Anyway, because we have a wide range of models here, I'll be telling you how to set it up correctly with the 1.5B and the 7B models. I'll explain which aspects of the co-pilot we'll be using each model for. I'll be using these smaller models because they are really good, can be run on almost any computer these days, and are really fast as well. For things like auto-completion, we can use the 1.5B model, and for chat-like tasks, we can use the 7B model. I'll be covering each and every feature of GitHub Copilot. I'll also tell you how to set up a shell copilot, similar to what GitHub Copilot provides. So, if you save some money with this tutorial, go ahead and donate some to me, so I can make more videos like this. It would be really cool. But, if you don't want to donate, that's also fine. At least subscribe and like this video. I know you'll do that, right? Anyway, let me tell you my master plan to make this happen. I'll be using Continue Dev as my VS Code extension for Copilot because it's really good. Then, I'll be using Olama as our model inference server. In the model, we'll be using Quen 2 7B and 1.5B as I mentioned. For the shell copilot part, we'll be using shell GPT. So, that's what we'll be using for our custom copilot. Now let's get started. First, go to Olama's site. Click on the download button and get it installed. Once installed, go to the models page and search for Quen. Here, you'll find the Quen 2 models. Now go over here, and in the drop-down first, select the 7B model and copy this command. Once copied, paste it in your terminal and run it. This will get the 7B variant installed on your computer. Once it has been installed, you'll see this chat interface in your terminal. Send a message and check if it's working. Once checked, go back to Olama's model page and select the 1.5B model. Now, go ahead and copy this command and paste it in your terminal. This will get the 1.5B model installed. Once installed, check it by sending a message. Now, our model part is done. Let's first get the Shell Copilot installed, since that's the easiest. I'll be using Shell GPT for this. If you want to know in-depth about Shell GPT, you can watch my dedicated video on that. But to tell you a little about it, it's GitHub's terminal code suggestion alternative. It allows you to ask it anything, and it can give you a shell command for it. Anyway, to install it, first run this pip install shell gpt command. Once you run it, shell gpt will get installed. Now, since we need to use it with a llama, we'll also need to run another command, and that's pip install light llm. Once done, come to this configuration file. Over here, set the default model to quen2. 1.5b like this. Then, change this use light LLM variable to true. Once done, save it. Now, shell GPT should start working. You can use it all you want. With the shell operator, you can generate shell commands, and without it, you can just get simple text messages. You can do a bunch of things with it, like generating commit messages and whatnot. It's pretty cool. If you want to know more about it, you can check out my Shell GPT video. Anyway, once that's done, we are 30% done. Now, the next part is the major one. First, 
Open up your VS Code. Go to Extensions, search for Continue Dev, and get it installed. Once done, click on this Continue Dev icon on your sidebar. Once done, you'll see this screen. Now, over at the bottom, you'll see a drop down. If you click on it, you'll see some trial models like GPT 4, Claude, and others. But we'll not be using them, so just click on the Add button and select Olama. Now, select the Auto Detect option. Once you click it, you'll be thrown back to the home page. In the drop down, you'll see both the Quen 27B and 1.5B models. For the chat here, I'll recommend using the 7B model since it will be much better for chat. Anyway, send a message and you can see the chat interface is working. You can also ask it to generate code and use the insert at cursor and other options to directly put the code in your file. But if you want a more detailed tutorial, you can check out my previous Copilot video with Quen 1.5. Anyway, so our chat part is done. Now, we'll need to configure auto completion as well. To get it configured, click on this settings button. Once you click it, you'll see this file open up. Over here, in the autocomplete portion, change it to Quen 21.5B just like this. We'll be using 1.5B for autocomplete. Since autocompletion needs to keep working, I'll recommend using it with a smaller model. Continue also recommends using a smaller model for autocompletion. Anyway, once you set it up, save it. Now, autocomplete should also start working. It's pretty cool. You can go ahead and use the autocompletion feature just like GitHub Copilot as much as you want. So now we have everything set up. Our copilot is now set up, and we even have a shell copilot. It's pretty cool. The Quen models also work pretty well. Plus, because they all are small models, you can use them even on computers without a GPU. It's pretty cool. These new models by Quen are really amazing. They are super small and work pretty well. The auto completion they provide is also amazing, and because they're small, they're also fast. I really like this one. The Shell GPT is also really good. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this co-pilot alternative in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.